Girl Stew Hack is presented by the Adler Planetarium, where you are, and also Tesla Technologies, a really wonderful corporate partner of the Adlers. Um, I'm not going to speak for very long right now because I want to introduce our president and CEO, Dr. Michelle Larson, um, who is here to welcome you all today and to welcome our speaker. So with that, uh, I'll step back. Thank you. Thanks, Natalie. Welcome, everybody. We're so glad you could come out this morning. I hear it's going to snow, but not till tomorrow. So it's <laughs> great that it held off so we can do Girls Do Hack. I wanted to first just um, welcome you to the Adler. We're always delighted to open up our doors and have young people come in and spend the day, um, especially a day, hacking solutions, creative solutions to all different kinds of problems. And so we're delighted for our second annual Girls Do Hack. I thought I'd tell you a little bit about my own hacking journey. Um, I was hacking before it was even called that, right? Because this is a fairly new term to mean that you're approaching things in a creative way, trying to figure out how to problem solve. And so my daughter and I were thinking um, over the last week about different things we've done that we would call a creative hack to a solution. And I think the earliest one I can remember is when I was 10 years old, my family and I drove from Massachusetts to Alaska, where I was moving to. And we had to get our parakeet bird across the country. It was a month long drive. And so the kids in my family were given the task of figuring out how to build a box for the bird's cage to ride in, a travel box, so that at night he could get put in there, his cage could slip down in there, and he could sleep and be quiet. Because if any of you have a bird, you know if it gets dark, then they, like, they go to sleep when it's dark. So that was the first hack that I ever did. Later on, my hacking skills came to um, teach me to program what a star does on the inside because we'll never be able to get to the inside of a star. So I learned how to program and model what's happening inside a star. So that's a little bit of my hacking journey and it can all start at a very simple place like a cardboard box, travel box for your bird. Kate's memories were when she's eight, and her first hack was helping mom try to clean my hair dryer, which wasn't working, because you know how the back of the hair dryer all gets full of lint? And some crazy company designed my hair dryer such that that back piece doesn't come off. And so I thought, well, what is going on with that? But she figured it out with a toothpick and a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> and so with a toothpick and a vacuum cleaner, Kate hacked her first solution on my hair dryer. And I think the world's the limit in terms of what will be her next and her next and her next. So we thought it'd be fun just to share with you that today may be your first or your second Girls Do Hack at the Adler, but the sky's the limit because you're going to learn a lot of great skills today and we're so delighted to have you here to learn those skills with us. So next I want to introduce our speaker. Our speaker is from Tesla Technologies, which you heard is our corporate partner in our hack days and we just love that and that is Isha Samani. So Isha, we're delighted to have you here today. She's a platform engineer at Teza and studied electronics and communication engineering during her undergraduate work, which was done in India at IIT Roorkee. Although she studied electronics, she chose to pursue a graduate degree, a master's degree in computer science. Perhaps she likes programming computers as much as I do. And that was at the University of Oregon. She was attracted to computer science because of the fast-paced world of software development. It is a world that is always changing. She spent a couple of years, and I'm very jealous about this, at MIT's very cool interdisciplinary tech and design lab called the Media Lab. So if you have an opportunity to Google on a computer media lab at MIT, go look up some of the neat stuff they do. So I'm sure that was a wonderful time. Since Isha's joined the workforce, she's found interesting projects at small companies where she tries every day to use computers to solve the problems around her. While she was in school, she also dabbled as an amateur actress. And in her free time, she's now taken up by her family. And I didn't get to meet him this morning, but I understand she has a marvelously adorable 10-month-old. So Isha, welcome, and thank you for speaking to us this morning. Thank you, Michelle, for that warm welcome. And I am thrilled to welcome all of you to Girls to Hack today on behalf of Tesla Technologies. Um, just like a little bit about Tesla, we are an algorithmic trading firm. How many of you know what that is? Very cool. So yeah, I'm sure you understand. It's a, it's a place where we use computers and we use software to trade in the stock market. It's 
very exciting and if you catch me afterwards i will be happy to tell you more about that and about you know the media lab at mit or any other question that you might have about uh things that i can answer um i'm one of the software engineers at teza but um uh, the fact is that i'm the only female software engineer at teza and i desperately want that to change i would love to be one of the many female software engineers at teza and i'm hoping i'll be able to recruit one of you today for for that and you know you'll be interviewing with me like 6 8 10 years from now and we'll work together so uh it was last year that i came to adla planetarium for the first time as out as a mentor at the girls to hack event which teza sponsored as well and i was uh, at that time really struck by the motivation in each of the student participants who had come to uh explore and innovate and solve problems together and i remember it being such a rejuvenating experience for me i was reminded of how exciting the world was and how and the kind of excitement i had felt as a young woman at the start of my own education in the stem fields and i i did feel honored to be able to play that role to spark that excitement in in other young women and i'm hoping even today you'd be able to look to me and and of course to michelle and all of the wonderful people at adler and and especially your mentors who are going to be spending the day with you today to see that a career in stem is a very real possibility for each of you today you know uh, the one thing that i do feel is that however i love however much i love this event and however rewarding it has been for me to represent teza technologies support of women in stem i do look forward to the day when girls to hack is i will explain but i do look forward to the day that girls to hack is no longer part of adler's programming i instead i i look forward to a day when there are so many women in in the stem fields that we are no longer seen as a minority that we do not we do not need any additional encouragement to study the sciences and mathematics and that adler, adler is free to host events called teens to hack instead of girls to hack and i feel like that the journey to that day starts with each of you today i hope that you enjoy this event as much as i do that you find it very exciting and rewarding and that you carry that excitement with you back into your classrooms you know i i hope that you're able to attend many more events like these you're able to foster your curiosity and then share your experiences with other family and friends female uh, family and friends and just continue to stay motivated and continue to work hard and then pursue higher education and a career in science and technology in engineering and mathematics and and very soon you will join me as a female stem professional uh maybe even at teza so for today i hope you have fun and make friends and ask your mentors as many questions as you can and i'll be around if you want to come talk to me i'll be more than happy to talk to you thank you so much